Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, uh, we'll, I'll be doing a match day vlog uh, for Luton away. Uh, we take on the uh, Luton today on Boxing Day. I um, hope you all had a good Christmas yesterday. Um, and also, I forgot to say uh, thanks for all the views on like, the Middlesbrough vlog. I got quite a few views on the Blackburn vlog. Blackburn home vlog, but uh, not, not, not as many as the Middlesbrough vlog. So cheers, cheers for that. I forgot to mention it in the uh, in the last video. Um, but yeah, about the game, I think I think we will find it tough against Luton because uh, they have a couple of decent. They have quite a few decent players. Colton Morris, um, good threat in the air, maybe. Um, knows how to find the back of the net. He's got quite a few goals this season. I'm pretty sure he's he got back to back player of the month and championship for a couple of weeks ago, so um, yeah. And he also used to play for us, so yeah. Um, it, it should be an interesting game. They did uh, get a new manager uh, during the World Cup break. Uh, their first game, his first game in charge was a 2 1 loss against Middlesbrough. And, and their game against Millwall got postponed postponed because because their pitch was really like had a load of snow on it. So um yeah, whether the energy levels in the Luton camp will be will be better than ours because we we played last week uh, they didn't. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too too confident going into today, today's game because Luton. I mean. They've had a bit of a bad spell recently, but they they are still a very good side. They beat us 1-0 in the fixture at our place, uh, Carroll Road. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think it will be... I said to my mum, I think it will be 1-0 Luton, but I'm going to go for 1-1. Because uh, I, I, I think we'll, we'll find a way to score for, uh, somehow. But, yeah, I'm still Dean Smith out, even if we win. Unless we win really convincingly, like three, two or three nil, um, I'm still going to be Dean Smith out because he hasn't proven that he, he, he's a good manager at this level for our club. So yeah, and um, plus he said he said um, he likes winning one nil more than five nil. I mean, obviously you're most likely to win one nil over five nil, but he's basically saying you can't. Uh, he doesn't want to go for five or five, five goals. Uh, he'd rather sit back and go for one goal. So I don't think that's the right mentality. Made a few changes to the lineup who lost to um, Blackburn. We've gone three at the back. I'll put the lineup on the screen. Uh, but yeah, I'd say the player, it's good to see Omar Ramadelli come back on the side. Gibson's still playing, like, what the hell? Um, I don't know why we've gone three at the back. I'm saying we're gonna um, get a shit house one, a shit house one nil win. I reckon McLean will score. Because this seems like his kind of game to score, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'll put the lineup, the full lineup on the screen. So yeah, carbon yellow.
Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing uh, um, my thoughts on the Dean Smith stacking. Finally, uh, Dean Smith has finally gone um, after waiting for so long. All, all the night trans waiting for so long. Um, following the uh, defeat to um, Luton Town yesterday, 2 1 defeat, um, he's been sacked. Uh, um, it's confirmed by Norwich City. Uh, so it, it was. Um, it was just a rumour, so, well not really a rumour, but uh, it did just come out um, from journalists, but it's now been officially confirmed a couple of hours ago, um, and he has finally been sacked, about time as I said, um, like, uh, I'll, I'll get the, um, he's got like, he's got like 14, um, 14 wins out of 51 games, not not good enough, he's won like 25% um, 20, of his games basically, um, I'll, I, I, he, he's won like one in like the last 10 or something like that, I don't know, um, but basically his form, form as Norwich City manager is really bad, uh, it's about, and it's about time he, he got the sack, he has no connection with the fans, um, his style of football is really boring, um, I'm really glad he's been sacked because I think he's a bit of a fraud to be honest. Um, playing three at the back, playing he's a one nil merchant. You know, he only he he'd rather win five nil. He'd rather he'd rather win one nil than five nil. I mean, obviously you're likely to win one nil more than f five nil. Um, but but like he's basically saying like, um, that um he'd rather win one nil because apparently it shows more character. Like what the fuck? Uh, like he he just not. He's not the right man for the job. I mean, um, he's blaming the fans for for our losses, basically. Um, when it's not really our fault because we're backing we're backing everyone except Dean Smith and like the uh, the board. Um, I don't I don't really think Delia has done much um, to uh, like people to be like um, having a go at her because uh, I mean she hasn't got a lot of money at the club so. Um, yeah, um, so it's not really her fault. I, th I think she should probably sell up and uh, sell up, um, soon though, uh, like a year in a year or so, in the next uh, couple of months, maybe to a, year, a couple of months to a year. But I'm even Weber, I think, should should um, uh, li leave. I mean, I don't know how he's uh, been getting interest from Chelsea to be their sporting director. I mean, yes, he's bringing some decent players, but uh. But he hasn't been good enough for the last couple of years, so um, I'm quite happy that Dean Smith has been been sacked. Um, he just he just wasn't the right man for the job. His his win percentage as Norwich City manager, he's been um in charge for like a year and a, and a couple of months. His win percentage is really bad. Um, even in the Premier League, I mean, we sacked a few managers by winning, but that that's about it. Um. Um, his biggest win, a three 0 win over Watford. Um, his biggest defeat, a five 0 loss, uh, to Tottenham Hotspur on the last day of the season. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it's time for a change. I would bring in, um, personally bring in Kusten. I think his name is. He's a Norwegian, uh, um, head coach who uh, I think. His team beat um, Jose Mourinho's Roma in the Conference League. If correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Um, Mark Robbins doing uh, really well at um, Coventry City at the moment, so um, I think he'd be a a decent option. It'd be a bit hard to uh, get him away from Coventry because they are doing fairly well at the moment. Uh, but if we can try and get him in then that'd be good right and finally I'd, I'd take Dross from Martin maybe it might be a bit too early for him but uh, he, I, I think he's a very decent manager and he also used to play for us as well he, he has a connection with the fans and stuff because he's such a good player for our club um, so yeah but he's doing very well at Swansea currently he did dominate us um, when we played them a couple of weeks ago uh, and only just scraped past them uh, after a goal from Timu Puki in the first minute, 
So I think he's a very good manager. It might be a bit too early for him, but I, I definitely see him as our ma manager in the in in the future. I don't know when, but he will uh, be our manager in the future. I reckon. Um, so yeah, um, that's just my thoughts. I'm very um happy that Dean Smith has been sacked. It, it's just it was his time to go. He, he's such a bad manager. He, he's, he's, um, you know, his tactics are so bad. I mean, yeah. So yeah, hopefully we can get someone else, uh, someone, some other really good manager in who can uh, manage properly and um, use our players very well. Because I think they, um, Dean Smith was using Sergeant on the wing um, rather than up front because he scores most of the goals whilst be up front. He's like the he's like the fourth most uh, fourth uh, he's fourth in the championship top sc scorers uh, chart. Um, but yeah, he's not doing too badly this season. He scored like one goal from the right hand side, which came in a two one defeat away at Watford. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, he might have scored more. I don't know from the right hand side. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm saying is he should be a bit used at the um striker position. Um, but. Yeah, he changes formation too often. Uh, using he he's not using players uh, in the right positions, and um, yeah, that's why uh, I don't think we're getting the best out of the. Uh, he's getting the, he was getting the best out of the players, but yeah. Um. But yeah, um, that'll be it for today's video. I did go to loot in a way yesterday, obviously. Uh, as some of you might have seen on my Instagram, I don't know. Uh, but um, I did go looting away today. Um, and um, I didn't really record much because I don't really. I, I, I went, um, I wasn't sitting next to my mum. Um, so I don't, I don't, and I don't really have my phone. So I'll, I'll try and get a vlog out of like some uh, parts of the game and stuff. I did record me, uh, the, um, about the team news and like the intro and stuff but yeah uh, i'll try get a good video out but if it's not the best and i apologize but yeah the next proper proper vlog will be against reading on friday night and one last thing our um interim coach will be the um under 20 current under 23 coat under 23's coach steve weaver alongside um set piece coach alan russell so yeah, hopefully they can um, guide us to a win um, against Reading and um, um, hopefully we can play a bit better under them until we get a new manager. But yeah, come on Yellows, um, hopefully we can uh, play better in the future. Bye.